All right, good day everyone, Noel here, Ozois Pest Control. So we're just going to run through a scenario on a uh, termite inspection. I am picking up moisture in this wall over here. Now, directly behind us is an ensuite. All right, so it's a little bit concerning. However, we do get some termite activity through this building. So what we want to do is to see if we are getting activity in this area or leading towards it. So first thing we've got to do is we've got to double check our moisture area. Radar doesn't work on high moisture because it gets absorbed. So we need to highlight and pinpoint the extremities of that moisture to enable us to use the radar. So we'll just go ahead and do that now. So what we're going to do, we'll just show you here when we turn on the on the moisture sensor what happens. Now this is an, this is an important thing to do. Always stand the unit up, the sensor area needs to be open. So as we open the moisture here, you'll see what it's doing is running through its calibration process. It is a bit of a humid day today, there's been some rain around. So what's happening is it's going to factor that into the equation. So now we're open. So I'm just going to run it across the wall over here uh, and we'll see what sort of figures we're getting. So I'm just down low. So that's not an unusual sort of a figure for where I'm located and time of year. Now we're starting to climb up. So what I'm going to do is just roughly in this area where it is altering, just put a general, just a little pencil mark on the wall. So I'm still going along. See, that's, that's elevated moisture. Now we're just starting to break off. So just generally speaking, a close area, just another pencil mark. So what we have to do now, we need to flick over to the relative meter. So to do that, direct moisture on off. We're now on relative. So this is what we're going to use to pinpoint the extremities of the moist area. So all I'm going to do is roughly go back to the center of my wall uh, where I had that moisture. I will now hold that on the wall over on anywhere in this white box. I've now referenced it to that wall area's moisture, my moisture, humidity of the day and so forth. So now I'm just sliding along the wall. We can see now red's come out, red's peaked. So that's telling me I'm to the least amount of moisture along this area comparison to where I referenced it. So now I'm just going to come back, sliding back towards where I referenced it. Now just on the screen there we see that red's just disappeared. That now has become the exact extremities of the moisture. I'm going to use that central to where my sensor is and mark the wall. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to re-reference it and I'm going to go the other way. So I'm just sliding along. We've got red over here on our screen, which has peaked again. Now we see that's peaked. Now just sliding it back in towards where I referenced it initially, just to that point there where the red's disappeared. That now is my exact extremities. So now we've got over here on the wall, this mark where my finger is. And this mark here is my extremities of moisture that way. Now what I want to do is find how high this moisture has risen and the exact extremities once again. Re-reference it. Red has peaked in that area. Come down just to where it disappears. And I'm just going to put a mark there. Because we've got such a large area of moisture, I need to do a couple of spots. So I'll come a bit over here closer to where my original extremities was, re-reference it. So it's not very high on that point. As we can see, so it is fairly, it's a fairly common height along there. So now what I'll do is use the exact extremity again, going up. So there's not much actual change in this. So if I turn that sideways, now we're seeing quite a significant change. So that moisture has climbed quite significantly in that area. Okay, so I'm not overly concerned by that at this point. But what I want, do want is the height over this side. Referenced it. 
Now we're getting that peak back down. Now we're on that red. So now, again, that's given my height. So over on the wall here, we can just see this mark here. That was our extremities this way. This mark here is our height. So along here, roughly this height slightly changes to our extremities here. It is quite high now. That is above the bottom plate. So it is indicating that there is quite a bit of moisture. More than likely, it's due to the uh, ensuite shower that is leaking. But we're going to investigate because, as we know, moisture is highly conducive to termites. They generally won't be in that high amount of moisture. However, they will come towards it as a, as a condition and usually on the fringes. So what we've got to do now, we need to get onto the radar and check for any action motion traveling to and for that area. Okay, sit pause buddy.